Odine Tufto, Vermont's Worst Nightmare. You know, something about Vermont, I don't know what it is, but you know, like I said, great team win, we battled all night, we got the win. Tied at two apiece, Tufto scored the game-winning goal for Quinnipiac with just 15.2 seconds left in regulation. Honestly, it was kind of a, a lucky play. You know, they're, they're deep bobbled the puck, and um, I beat them to it, and I turned around and, you know, kind of blind shot it. But, you know, good things happen when you work hard all game. The sophomore is now two for two in his career against Vermont. Two games, two game-winning goals. Tufto's goal came two minutes after Chase Prisky nodded the game off a slap shot with an extra attacker on. Quinnipiac head coach Rand Pecknold says Prisky continues to improve as a leader. You know, he's just, uh, I mean, he's an A-plus, plus character kid. He, he always does the right thing when no one's watching him. Like, he just, he's, he's really an impressive individual. He leads by example. Uh, he's not a rah-rah leader, but um, you know, he's, he's a great captain. I think he got a good experience last year, and I've seen him take a jump this year with his leadership. He's even better this year. Despite trailing 2-1 late in the third period, the Bobcats clawed their way back to start their season 1-0. I just think it showed how relentless our team was. You know, we're obviously young, um, but you know, played uh, with a lot of adversity, and uh, you know, we never backed down. And it was a really good team win. I mean, to have that type of game happen to you on the first night of the season and you come out with a win, it's pretty awesome. Quinnipiac isn't done facing hockey East opponents just yet. It has two home games next week: Tuesday night against UConn and Friday night against Boston College. Reporting at the Gutterson Fieldhouse, I'm Kyle Lavasser, Q30 Sports.